Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday, I go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish lists, multiples, <laughs> or if everything's a total washout. As always, we have plenty to talk about. If you want to binge watch the whole series, I have them all in one playlist. I'll throw that up in the cards. And I know last week I did mention that I was hoping to have a special guest for this week's video. I spent last weekend at my boyfriend's place helping watch our dog Rex. See, I slipped up and I called it our dog. Technically, it's it's his dog, but he's he's I'm a I'm a corgi stepmom in spirit. So there you go. But he ended up having to work a lot of overtime last weekend and in the week leading up to our vacation. So he's. I didn't want to make him do that because he's been very tired and he's been working a lot. So in lieu of that, our special guest, if you didn't know, I am a Giants fan. So our special guest is Eli Jr., <laughs> the Build-A-Bear that I made a few years ago <laughs> with my little cousin. And he's got the full outfit on. Isn't he adorable? Um, we do not use the B word around him, benched, because he was benched. But, uh, <laughs> but um, I am a diehard Giants fan. I have been since I was literally born. I'm pretty sure like the first onesie I ever wore was a Giants one. But he's just kind of been my little, he's like the one that watches the games with me because no one else really watches Giants games. I do have some friends, but we can't always meet up to watch the games. So he's my little Giants buddy. I actually, so this past game, I got Rex <laughs> to put on the Giants jersey that we picked out at PetSmart, which was very cute, and he looked really cute in it. Um, but Rex is not here right now, so we're gonna, we're gonna work with Eli. <laughs> so let me see. I'm just gonna set him up right here. You, can, you can't even see him on camera, can you? Oh well, just know he's there. He's like, he's right there. <laughs> so he's here in spirit. Okay, I don't think I have any updates for this week. I'm trying not to really purchase anything until after my vacation. So it's not like a, an official low buy or a no buy, but I'm just trying to hold off on purchasing anything that I want until after our vacation because of course we have been saving up for this for a long time we're gonna be out of like out of state for a full week so we're gonna need to save some money for that so i really don't have any new products or anything so let's just jump in oh i lied i lied so there is one thing that i did pick up the wet and wild the big palette the the james chaneo or was it james chaneo <laughs> dupe palette i did pick that up and i actually so i picked up two so I wanted to have one to use on my channel, do a first impression with it, and then I really wanted to do a giveaway with the other one, if it's a good palette. <laughs> I hope it's a good palette. So I've got two of those on the way. I'm not sure when they're going to arrive. I bought it straight from the Wet n Wild website. So once that does come in, I'm going to do a first impression and then a giveaway. And I'm trying to make it an international giveaway, which I believe, since I have the product, I can just ship it anywhere. I gotta like look up UPS because I would be shipping at UPS, but I'm gonna do my best to make it international friendly as well so that everyone can participate in that giveaway. Okay, so Makeup Revolution has a collab with Alexis Stone. And I have to say the palette does look really pretty, but it is a rainbow palette. And I just got the one from Wet n Wild, so I really don't need another one. I think it is kind of interesting that they have, I guess, like a magnetic attachment palette which is a smaller like blue pinky kind of palette that's kind of interesting it's a bit different but it's not something i'm necessarily going to pick up okay so i actually really want to try this i think this is a bit older by now but um it's not going to be available until november but i think it was sneak peeked a little while ago this is from makeup revolution again and this is their velvet priming balm so they are jumping on to the Tatcha dupe wagon. If you know me and you saw that last video I did comparing the Tatcha to the e.l.f., you'll know how great that e.l.f. poreless putty primer is, like to the point where I chose it over the Tatcha. And after Jeffree Star did his video, that primer was literally sold out for months. Months. And it's still difficult to try to get a hold of it. I actually found a local Walgreens where they had a whole display of this like hidden like on the bottom shelf and there was like 10 of them and I'm like oh, I kind of want them but I already have one and I have a backup so I'm good 
for now, but it's an amazing primer. And it looks like Makeup Revolution's trying to do the same thing. It looks the exact same. It's got a, a putty spatula. So I really want to try this. It's not going to be available until November, but I would love to do like another side-by-side -side video comparing this one to the e.l.f. one whenever it's actually available. I think I mentioned this before. I honestly cannot remember, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury palette what's it called it's called the starry eyes to hypnotize instant eye palette it's limited edition and i was kind of interested but then i watched a few review videos of people who picked it up immediately and it's nothing special it's definitely not worth that price point so i'm gonna stay away from this all right morphe what the hell kind of nonsense is this <laughs> i guess we're moving from a pop of blue to a pop of green this is the 3503 Fierce by Nature Artistry Palette. Come on. Literally, you cover up that one green and that kind of green adjacent shade above it. And it's literally the same as the rest of their palettes. What, the, what is going on? Is anyone buying this? Like, what the hell is the point? Like, I think it would have been different. If I were to redesign this, I would love to see, like, a Halloween palette where it's, like, half orange, like, actual oranges, and half green. That would be kind of interesting. But this, it's just a warm, neutral palette, and I don't know. Meh, meh, meh. Again, in the vein of does everyone need a makeup line, the answer is no. But Victoria Beckham is coming out with her own makeup line, and, okay, so these things, they're, they're literally called brick. No, the first one's literally called a brick. Tweed were, yeah, they're literally called smoky eye bricks. Does anyone else not like it when your eyeshadows are like all touching like this? Because I can just see like the shades mixing and becoming so muddy and like not being usable anymore. Like what's the point? The only products I see like that that are kind of like understandable if it's like a, a highlight blush where it like you can kind of use it as both or you can mix them and I don't like I don't like this <laughs> and they're $54 each no oh and they're tiny they, they're smaller than your palm no no all right, so there's another new Viseart palette out, and I've said this before, and I'll keep saying it, Viseart shadows are hella overrated and hella overpriced. You do not need them. I don't think anyone needs them. I wouldn't recommend you even try them out. They're, they're just honestly a gigantic waste of money. Like, I found better quality from Juvia's Place, from ColourPop, even from Wet n Wild. So that should tell you everything. Okay, so... ColourPop is coming out with a new tinted moisturizer. It's actually a whole line called Pretty Fresh. So I guess it's supposed to be like light coverage, like glowy kind of makeup. So there's a tinted moisturizer, there's a setting mist, there's a primer. Every single base product from ColourPop that I've tried on my skin has been a total fail. That includes their original foundation, their foundation stick, their concealer, their face powders. Everything has just not worked for me. And I've been very disappointed. And because of that history, I don't want to, I don't want to try this. Like, I have like zero out of five hits for the, uh, the ColourPop base products. Like, their eyeshadows are bomb, but none of their base products have worked for me. Okay, so, like, everyone and their mother lost their goddamn minds when this new Fenty highlighter dropped, but, like, I didn't think it was that special. Is that is that weird to say? I don't know. Like, I do have Fenty highlights, and I do like them a lot, but I don't know what it was about this, like, one particular highlighter where, like, everyone was, like, losing their minds and, like, running out to buy it immediately. I'm like, it's, like, it's, it's a highlighter, <laughs> and you probably already have this, most likely, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bit more cynical now. I don't know. But I don't need this highlight. I do think Fenty has good quality highlighters. So if you're looking for a highlighter, check Fenty out. I've panned like her split pan highlighters. I've panned the entire one side of one and hit pan on the other. They're good quality highlighters. But I'm not about to like drop everything, run to the store and grab it like as soon as they drop a new one. Like 
Do you agree, Eli? Toyoga. Toyoga! Okay, so random tidbit, but one of the worst parts about having curly hair <laughs> to me is that whenever your hair is like this close to like your field of vision and you can see it like out of the corner of your eye, I see like one little like black curl and I keep thinking like it's a bug. Like, <laughs> like I saw the curl and I thought there was like a bug on the ceiling over there and I like freaked out, but it's not. It's just my hair. That happens more times than I would personally like to admit. Anyway, back to here. I've got a lot of thoughts on ABH right now and all of the Norvina palettes. Like, Jesus Christ. I used to really like how ABH didn't throw up products all the time. I know um, Lauren May Beauty actually just did a really good video breaking down all of ABH's releases where it might feel like we have a lot of products coming out if you actually like track them it's definitely more than they used to release but it's not a crazy overwhelming amount of products but still it's more than abh usually releases and i used to like the fact that they didn't release all the time like i don't know because it used to feel like every ABH release was, like, special. And, like, there was a lot of thought put into it, right? Now, we literally got three Norvina palettes in three weeks. Less than three weeks. And they're gigantic palettes. Like, uh, Part of me wants to just pick one up to see if the quality is the same as their, like, 12-pan palettes. But did we really need three of these? Like, and then they're not even, like, spaced out, like, one in 2019, one in 2020. No, they're being released basically the same time. So I'm not going to pick it up, like, right away. I don't know if these are limited edition or not. But I do want to get one between, like, now and the end of the year just to see, you know? I'll probably get it from Sephora. That way, if it's like garbage, I can return it. But did we need all of these? The answer is no. And they're not even like just the palettes. There's like a collection with it too, right? Aren't there like some other products? I don't know. I'm definitely waiting until this is in store so I can see it beforehand. Because it might be that I go into stores, watch it, look at it, and I don't want it. So I'm leaving that possibility there. Um because there may or may not be a chance that once we're on vacation, we might end up oopsie-daisying our way into, like, a mall or something. So you never know. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want to jump into this. I just, I was just overwhelmed. Like, I spent a lot of time with ABH this year. I bought a lot of the palettes. I've panned, not fully, but I'm, like, almost done panning subculture. And I've spent a lot of time with the formula and... I don't know, like, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that they're, they're kind of turning into, like, every other makeup brand where they're just vomiting out releases all the time just to have something new to just throw in front of your face. I'm sure that's the way that's the entire, you know, like, makeup industry is right now, but I kind of, I was hoping ABH was going to stay different. That being said, um, I'm probably going to get volume two or volume three. Whichever one has more greens in it, that's what I'm going to get. BH Cosmetics is coming out with some brow duos where they're tiny little cute compacts with two shades to use in your brows. I think this is really cute. It looks like a really good product. They're only $9 each, which is pretty still affordable. Um, I've been using eyeshadow in my brows for like months now. I used to use like, um, like dip brow and like pomades, but it really helps if you're trying to pan something. You can also use it like in your brows. And I really do like the effect of powders like in my brows, so... <laughs> I think this is really cute. I would pick it up to try it out. I haven't placed a BH Cosmetics order in a long time, so I might, probably not anytime soon, maybe closer to Black Friday, I'll actually go onto the website and place like a bigger order because I honestly have lost track of all the other new stuff that they've come out with. All right, ColourPop, what the hell? This is literally like the exact same palette they've already come out with. And if this is what they're gonna do to start coming out with like slightly different palettes, they're no better than Morphe. They need to stop. They need to slow down. They need to chill. Think of some ideas, please. Don't just come out with another almost identical purple palette. Come out with a silver palette. 
come out with, I don't know, curated palettes more than just like monochromatic ones. You know how much I would love to see like a nice 12 pan palette? I know they just came out with that giant Kathleen Lights one, but I think they went zero to 100 there. They should have gone like to the middle. I don't know. NARS is coming out with another face palette for their holiday collection, and while I was originally interested in the one I think last year, I was told by like a lot of people that their face palettes and their holiday releases like suck, <laughs> and that they're really not good quality and they're not worth the money. So because of that, I'm not gonna pick this up. I have plenty of face palettes. I really don't need any more. My nose is itching. Uh. Really? Really. Fuck that. Okay, so I scrolled by this really fast at first, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was a ColourPop release. <laughs> this is from Kylie, and I guess that there's a collab with Balmain Paris for Paris Fashion Week. At least it's a little bit different, but not different enough for me to actually, like, want to pick this up. <laughs> Um, there is a lip gloss, there's a lip kit, there's an eyeshadow palette, uh, and that's it. Like, no. Yeah. Switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, something that really caught my eye is from Midas Cosmetics. I have not tried Midas Cosmetics yet. I was waiting for, like, the right time or the right palette, and I think it's gonna be this one. They're coming out with a bunch of cute little quads in, like, a new coffee collection, and one of them is the Pumpkin Spice Latte Palette, and it actually is pumpkin spicy. It's orange, it's browns, it's browns. I meant to say brown and bronze, but I want browns. It's brown and bronze, and it's very pretty. And from what I've heard, uh, a bunch of other YouTubers that I love talk about the quality, like I'm really excited for this. So I definitely want to pick up Pumpkin Spice Latte and probably Green Tea Macchiato. I don't know if these are limited edition. They're available now for pre-order, but... Like I said, I'm trying not to spend too much money before my vacation, so I'm not going to pre-order it, but I want those two. Bad. And they're only $12 each, which really isn't bad. That's $4 a shadow. That's really good. Ooh, speaking of Midas, they also dropped, um, this is the Caramel Cappuccino palette, which those look gorgeous. I don't know if I would pick this up, because I really want those other two. I don't know if I would need this, but those are gorgeous. So this palette looks a little different and actually kind of intriguing. This is from Clarity Cosmetics. I don't know if I've ever heard of them before. But it's like a smoky, grungy palette, but it's got like yellows in it and like some blue tinted smoky shades. This looks really cute and it's different from what I've seen recently or before. It's $54 though. And I've never bought from the brand. If you've tried out this brand, Clarity Cosmetics, let me know down below if you think their quality is good or if you think they're worth the price. Because I don't know if I would run out and put this like on my top list of things to get, but it, made, it caught my eye. And last but not least, Davina Cosmetics just restocked the Angelica Nyquist collab bundle. I really want to get this, but again, I'm trying not to buy anything before our trip. I really hope that there's going to be another restock before like the holidays because I really do want to pick this up. I just, the timing for me wasn't really that good, but if you can support her, support her. This is actually a great quality brand. I've tried out a bunch of singles from them. I think the shadows are amazing. So I want to pick this up like the minute like I can. Okay, and we are going to finish our Be Wow right there. I have to take off my black lipstick, get ready for work, get dressed, and Eli has to go get ready for his day of doing, um, what is it that you do again? It's okay. I'm just kidding. I love Eli. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything that I missed or if you want to know my opinions on, let me know down in the comments below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.